biggest muddy puddle in the world. Once upon a time, Mummy and Daddy Pig were tucking Peppa and George into bed. There's so much rain, Peppa said. That means there will be muddy puddles to jump in tomorrow, said Mummy Pig, smiling. The splish splash sounds of raindrops on the window sung Pepper and George to sleep, dreaming of muddy puddles. While Pepper and George slept, it rained and rained. He landed straight in a massive pool of water. Oh, who put all this water here? Daddy Pig said as he swam back to the house. And where are the muddy puddles? asked Pepper. Splash. Quack. Quack. Our house is like a desert island, Peppa laughed, looking at all the water. Oh dear, Mummy Pig said, how will we get our food? Granny and Grandpa Pig arrived on their boat. Oh hi there. Grandpa Pig said. Wonderful boating weather. Do you need anything from our shop? Granny Pig asked. Can we come too? Peppa said. Yes. Then you can help us get shopping for everybody. Squawk. Polly can be our shopping list. She's very good at remembering things. Granny Pig said, beaming at Polly. Who's a clever parrot? Squawk. Who's a clever parrot? Polly copied. Polly was good at copying what people said. Peppa, George, Grandpa Pig, Granny Pig and Polly Parrot sailed across the water. It was almost as fun 
as jumping in a muddy puddle. Each house was like its own desert island. They sailed from house to boat to submarine, submarine, asking if people needed anything from the shop. Do you need anything from the shop? asked Peppa. Chocolate, please, Susie Sheep said. Squawk, chocolate, Polly Parrot copied. A newspaper and a comic, please, Grandad Dog and Danny Dog said. Squawk, newspaper, comic, Polly Parrot copied. Cheese, please, Grumpy Rabbit said. Squawk. Cheese, Polly Parrot copied. When Grandpa Pig's boat arrived at the supermarket, Miss Rabbit was all alone. Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list, Peppa said proudly. Squawk. Polly Parrot opened her beak and said, Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh dear. Polly Parrot has forgotten the list. Luckily, Peppa remembered what everyone wanted. Grandpa Pig sailed back from submarine to boat to house. Cheese, Peppa said. Thank you, Peppa. Grumpy Rabbit said. Newspaper and comic, Peppa said. Thanks, Peppa, Grandad Dog and Danny Dog said. It was lucky Peppa was going to the shops, said Mummy Sheep, or else we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolate, Susie, said Peppa. Oh, said Mummy Sheep. Peppa and George arrived back home in the evening. Did you have fun sailing with Grandpa? Mummy Pig asked. Yes, I remembered what everyone wanted, said Peppa, yawning. But there were no muddy puddles. George snorted in agreement. Maybe there will be some muddy puddles tomorrow, Daddy Pig said. Snort. The next morning, the sun was shining brightly in the clear blue sky. Polly Parrot flew with a sprig of leaves in her beak to show them all that the water had gone. She landed on Grandpa Pig's boat that was now stuck on Peppa's front lawn.
Oh, Granny Pig said, looking out from the boat. I wonder what kind of mess the flood has left. The houses that were once desert islands were now back to normal, sitting on top of the hills. The water that Pepper and George sailed through was now gone, and instead at the bottom of Pepper and George's hill was Squelch. He he. He 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 he. The biggest muddy puddle. Squelch. In the world, And everyone loves muddy puddles. The end.